What's up people, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Roro and I'm back with another video. So guys, um, remember in the previous video that I made the other day with the backsplash, I told you guys I'm getting ready to decorate this wall in my man cave. Um, it go right over there. All of that white wall I'm about to decorate. Um, I move some of, well, most of the stuff I just shift away from the wall and put it in the middle right here. Yeah, I'm getting ready to decorate this wall. So I'm gonna show you guys how I decorate the wall. Um, back home we used to call it a wash, but the right name for the painting that I'm about to show you guys is called sponge painting so all this wall right here is gonna be this color and that wall but it's gonna be um it's gonna be like a light version because I'm gonna put some white in the paint I'm gonna actually show you guys I'm gonna add the paint and I'm gonna put the white and then I'm gonna mix it up so it get a little bit um, lighter. So yeah guys, I'm about to decorate the whole of this wall just by using paint, a paintbrush, and a piece of sponge. Um, I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna bring you in the bathroom and I'm gonna show you a wall that I already did and it's gonna look something something like that but a lighter version so I'll be right back in the next video okay guys I'm back um, this is in my bathroom and this is how my man cave is gonna look but without the leaf pattern on the wall and um, going over here this is how it's gonna look this is a lot of purple <laughs> My wife said um, she want to change the bathroom color and just do a regular tail blue, which is fine with me. The only problem is I'm going to have to paint this purple wall white. But the pattern is going to look something like this in my man cave, as you can see. But without the leaf pattern, yeah, like I said, the whole bathroom was being purple. <laughs> but just so you guys can have a high idea this is all the back um, I mean my man cave wall is gonna look after I finish decorating it yeah guys um this is actually what I love to do but you know they say you have to know someone who knows someone um, to do a lot of stuff maybe like painting carpenter plumbing you can't just get up and say oh you want to um, go ahead and do this. You have to actually know somebody. But yeah, guys, this is how my man cave wall is gonna look. But not with this color, okay? So I'm gonna stop this video. Then I'm gonna make a next video with me mixing the paint, doing a little touching up, and then I'm gonna get to work. So I will see you guys in the next video as well. Okay guys, I'm outside right now, um, I'm trying to make this video real quick because it's drizzling a little bit. Um, this container is actually from a orange juice bottle. This is my white paint and this is the color that's on the wall in my man cave. I'm going to put this color first in the container and then I'm going to add a little bit of white to give it a lighter a lighter look and then I'm gonna go inside and do a little bit of cutting up with my um this is the sheet rock putty or sheet whatever they want to call it I call it sheet rock putty okay so I'm gonna use that and do a little bit of touching up inside before I put the decorating because um because the seat the sheet rock is fully set right now there is a little bit of cracking inside but like I said guys, I'm about to do this real quick and then I'm going to show you how the color looks when I 
when I um, mix it. Just right now, and the camera is getting wet. So I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna do my thing real quick. And then I'm gonna go inside and show you guys how the color look when I add the white to it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay guys, so I finished mixing the paint with a little bit of white. I'm looking in this container and I'm looking in the paint container that the actual color came in. I don't know if I see a big difference. You guys um, tell me if you see a difference because they look like the same to me even though I put a little bit of white in it. This is the one with the white get it a little bit lighter and this is the actual color I don't know if you guys can tell the difference I don't know it looks like the same to me I don't know guys but um like I said before I put a little bit of white in this one so white paint is right over there and um I don't know if it make a difference I thought the white should make it a little bit lighter, but I guess not. Or maybe because the container that's um, it's in right now, I guess, I don't know. But like I said, that's the actual color. Let me see if I can focus this. There we go. So that's the actual color. That's in the paint can, that's in my man cave right now. And this is the tin version. I think you probably can see it a little bit. I think it's a little bit lighter, I'm not sure. But anyway guys, this is the one I'm gonna use to decorate on the wall because I already put some white paint in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one back and close the white paint back. And I'm, I'm gonna bring you guys inside the man cave and I'm gonna put the camera and the tripod and I'm gonna show you guys how I do sponge painting. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay guys, I'm about to start. Um, hopefully when I start doing my thing, the camera don't go out of focus. But this is what you need to do your sponge painting you need a piece of sponge actually the sponge was a little bit bigger but i cut it in two because i'm like i don't want to get all the sponge dirty and you need a paintbrush and um the paint is on the floor right now and this is the wall we are about to sponge paint or wash whichever way they want to call it but back home we use call to wash but over here it's actually sponge painting because you're using a sponge anyway so we are about to start doing our thing unfortunately the freaking pot putty or putty whichever they want the dry wall putty is dry up or dried up so we can't use it um, as you can, I don't know if you guys can see, you have to actually look really good to see the little cracks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate the wall anyway because if I wait too long, I don't think I'm gonna ever do it. So I feel the vibe to do it today, so I'm gonna do it today. So let's jump into the video, guys. I'm looking if the mic is on. Sorry about that. Yes, the mic is on, so what you want to do, you want to, um, the sponge is a little bit damp. What you want to do, you want to use a paintbrush. You want to dip it in the paint. And you want to rub some on your sponge. And dip it again. And rub some on the sponge. Like this, as you can see. Okay. And I'm gonna dip it one more time and I'll rub it on my sponge. You don't have to wear a gloves if you don't want to, but I feel like I need to wear gloves. Dip it one more time. You don't have to dip it so many times, but I'm just dipping it as we go. 
and then um, hopefully you guys can see me we're gonna use the brush and we're gonna do a lot of I'm gonna show you guys so we're gonna use the brush and we're gonna do a lot of something like this because the sponge can't reach in the corner so we're gonna do like something like this you can hear me with the brush rubbing it close like I said the brush the sponge can't go in the corner so that's why I'm using the the brush to do one thing and then we're gonna start using the sponge to do the rest you want to put your hand in circle motion and wherever you stop you don't want to make the paint too heavy because if the paint is too heavy then you're gonna have a um, problem when you try to blend the bottom to the top so you don't want paint to be too heavy so where are you gonna try to blend the paint, the paint? where are you gonna try to blend the paint from the bottom to the top you want to make that end um, light see no pattern coming as yet I guess it's still kind of cold I should have do this one the time was hot but I'm gonna let the paint dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna try to get the pattern I don't know what's going on it's still not giving me the pattern but I'm still trying to do my thing Maybe I should open the window. <laughs> I think that's what I should do. But I'm not gonna have you guys watching me trying to figure out how to get a pattern. The pattern is coming, but it's just taking a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna open the window.
But what I'm gonna do guys, um, when I reach maybe majority of the, the, the sponge painting, then I'm gonna um, come back and show you. But as you guys can see, the pattern is coming. And that's how you do your sponge paint. And if you want, you just go back over the place that is light and do another dab because paint is in the sponge. And like I said guys, the, the place that is too light you can always use a sponge and dab it so it get a little bit darker. But as you can see the pattern is coming. But I'm not gonna have you guys waiting while I finish. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop this video and then when I'm at the finishing step, I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finishing touch. Okay, so I see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace. Okay, guys, this is where I'm at right now. Um, I'm trying to move a little bit faster because um, half, I have to be at work for three o'clock. I mean, the time is what time now? Let me look at my phone. <clears throat> the time is basically 12 o'clock, but I'm trying to move a little bit faster. As you can see, this is how it look and um, I forgot to mention one thing in the video all your pattern not gonna be the same because you buy yourself and um, depends on where the, the, the paint grab on the wall it's gonna give you different different patterns so all your pattern is not gonna look the same that's impossible but the main thing is you want to make sure you seen um, Remember the, the, the wall was white, remember that. So you wanna make sure you see a little bit of white coming through when you're doing your wash on the wall. But that's how it looks so far, guys. Let me step out the video. That's how it looks so far. <coughs> um, I have um, a little, I wouldn't say a little bit more. I have a next half of the wall to do, but I'm, I'm just making this video to show you guys how far I am at right now <coughs> so I'm gonna try to finish up real quick because like I said I have work to go in a couple hours I have to be at work for three o'clock and I don't want to be late <coughs> but you just use the sponge and you do your little circle motion and like I said where you stop because remember you have to do the bottom come up to meet with the top so wherever you stop you want to make sure that area is a little bit light because you always can add more paint in that light area but you can't add paint if it's too dark for example when you cook it if you put in seasoning in your chicken you don't want to add too much season or salt depends on whatever you use to cook I'm just showing you guys an um, example because you can't take back the salt out or the season out of the meat if you know where I'm coming from but you can always add seasoning or salt to the chicken but you don't want to just pour everything one time and then you can't take it back out so it's the same thing with this um, thing that I'm showing you now that was just an example <clears throat> you want to make sure when you come down and you stop you want to leave those area 
I call it zigzag. <laughs> I call it a zigzag. You want to make sure all those zigzag area is light. So when you come from the bottom up, it's it's um you can blend it in and then you just go go from there. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop this video again and I'm gonna try to finish up and then when I'm finished, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. But this is how it looks so far. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay guys, this is the finishing product as you can see from this end all the way over to that end. Let me go behind the TV and show you guys. Go all the way over there. Okay. You're probably not seeing it as well because the light is not showing up that side. But yeah. That's it. I'm about to push by the TV. Actually, I'm gonna vacuum behind the TV and then I'm gonna push it back. That's it right there. Go all the way down. Come on this side. Like I said, certain areas the paint is gonna grab up the pattern um, different. So you're not gonna get all the pattern as the same. But um, I want you guys to leave some comment down below and let me know what you think. I know I'm probably a bad instructor but sorry I didn't leave the camera um, rolling while I was doing it um, I was rushing because I'm gonna have to go to work in a couple of hours so that's why I was rushing but um, leave some comment down below and let me know what you think about the sponge painting like I said, you just use your hand in a circular motion and apply the paint on the brush and then the, the, the I mean, apply the paint on the sponge and then when you put um, the paint on the sponge, you use the sponge and rub it on the wall and go in a circle motion and then basically you just put in the paint on the wall and then try to take most of it off so you can see the white coming through the background. So you guys just leave some comment below and let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I know I'm a bad instructor, but sorry about that. Um, I have to go to work, so. Just leave some comment down below. And the reason why I did it today, I feel the vibes to do it today. I don't wanna wait till my day is off and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then next thing you know, Next year, the wall is still white, so <laughs> I feel the vibes to do it today. So I said, let me do it today. So just leave a lot of comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. I might make a next video um, while the TV is pushed back and everything is in place. I might make a next video, I'm not sure, but let's see how the vibes go. So I'm about to do some vacuum the carpet, the vacuum the tile, even though I don't think the vacuum make for the tile, but we're gonna pick up um, a little bit of sponge on the tile, so I'll see you guys after I push by the TV. Peace. Okay, begin. This is our look with the TV pushed back to the wall and everything is back in place. Okay, I put my curtain. Um, the lighting in my like is kind of sucks, but this is how it look with everything back in place. Okay, as you can see, everything is back in place. So you guys can just leave some comment down below and let me know what you all think. Like I said before, this is called sponge painting. Back home we use, I, well back home me and my father, or me and my dad we used to call it um, a wash. But over here they call it sponge painting. So you guys just leave some comment down below and let me know what you all think. Capiche? Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Until next time, peace. I'm out.